So we're going to show you how to create a binary file and how to read it. <coughs> so input and output here. So first we need this because we want to make sure we can write the whole object of your instance of the class and read the whole object of an instance back then we get all the attributes and value back. So <coughs> like I said data represent in a text file is human readable. This store in a binary file is represent in a binary form. You cannot read it. It's not human readable. They are decided to be read by programs. For example Java source program are stored in text files can be read by text editors. But Java classes are stored in the binary files you're not going to be able to read, but this is for JVM to read. The advantage of this is that they are more efficient right, to process. Like we said, we don't have to spend time to convert back to text. So the reason to do text because just make it readable for human. <coughs> now to do this, you have to deal with file input stream and file output stream. So these are the classes that we have to deal with and also <coughs> object output stream and object input stream. Now, <coughs> the most important thing that you need to know is you need to implement an interface name serializable to your class that you want to make it to write or read. <coughs> so let's see an example. So, <coughs> we come back to the cycle. I'm going to create a new project. <coughs> Name binary IO demo. <coughs> I'm going to use a create a class to do the read first, I guess. Write first, yeah. Write writer. <coughs> now I'm going to use the cycle class. And cycle class is form where <coughs> we already have it in print writer demo. I'm going to just copy and use this. <coughs> now this is important now, I want you to stay focused. Remember it said we have to implement, right? <coughs> what is the interface name? <coughs> that you need to import this, this is part of the Java library, java.io. So see right small to <coughs> tell that this class be able to read and write as a binary file for binary file I/O. Otherwise, you cannot do that. That's why we have to implement. <coughs> for text file, you don't need to implement. But for binary file, the class that you want it to be able to write and read to the binary file, you have to implement them as realizable. And this interface actually doesn't have any methods to implement. It's just telling that. <coughs> Serializable class is enabled by the class implementing the serializable interface. Classes that do not implement this interface will not have any of that state serialized or deserialized. Okay, so we want to serialize them. Then we know that we can write to the file as a binary and read as a binary. That's that's the point of this. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to very easy just implement serializable. Now let's see the binary write demo here. We have to deal with <coughs> file <coughs> output stream. So I'm going to say output <coughs> equals to new file output stream. <coughs> Now 
Now let's check the constructor. So this part is talking about yeah comparing y text y many file. Yeah, let's look through that again one more time. This is so good. <coughs> a file object encapsulate the properties of a file or a pad. We know that, but does not contain the methods for reading, writing data from I/O a file. We just see that right from the previous unit, unit seven. In order to perform I/O, you need to create object using a proper Java I/O like. This one we create object using the. This is for text file, right? <coughs> so, input stream get in, output stream write out. Now we talk about binary files. Now, <coughs> data stored in a text file are represented in human readable. Data stored in a binary file are represented in a binary form. You cannot read it. It's good for the machine to process. Because faster, don't have to convert to text again for human to read. <coughs> so binary files is designed to read by programs. Okay. Although it's not technically precise and correct, you can imagine that a text file consists of a sequence of characters, and a binary file consists of a sequence of bits. For example, the decimal integer 199 is stored as the sequence of three characters in a text file, right? And the same integer is stored as a byte type value C7. <coughs> so this is hexadecimal of 199. If you convert from decimal to hexadecimal, you get C7. Right, so that's going to store in the binary file. That's pretty much it. <coughs> okay. So you may see this. <coughs> Text I/O requires encoding and decoding. <coughs> so JVM converts a Unicode to a file-specific encoding <coughs> when writing a characters and convert a file-specific encoding to a Unicode when reading a character. So binary does not require conversions. <coughs> That's why I just told you, right? Text we require that. Unicode is a standard, like we have ASCII and then we have Unicode for international, right? <coughs> for each characters. Now when you write read and write with text, you have to deal with the Unicode here. Because the text actually is go down into like the binary format like that. <coughs> Then you have to use Unicode to decode it back to 199 to read. Okay, for but the binary I/O does not require conversion. When you write a byte to a file, the original byte is copied into the file, like that. I mean, read the original byte is pretty much extract from the file. <coughs> Now let's look at the hierarchy here. We have input stream and output stream extends from object. And for the input stream, we have file input stream <coughs> that we have to deal with. And object input stream, we have file input stream. The filter input stream ha that has data input stream and buffered input stream. So this chapter is going to learn how to use this. Okay, this output stream and input stream here. File output stream, file input stream. Object input stream, object output stream, and filter input stream and filter output stream. Buffered output stream, data output stream, and print stream. <coughs> so <coughs> let's look at input stream itself. Has read, 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 closed, right? With different parameters. Output stream has write, 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 close, flush, flushes this output stream and forces any buffer output bytes to be written out. 
and close just like text file you have to do close right <coughs> text file you have to do what uh, print so this is right right for the binary and you read right instead of next in or next in text file right <coughs> Now, <coughs> file input stream and file output stream associate a binary input output stream with an external file. So all the method in file input stream and output stream are inherited from the superclasses here, input stream and output stream. <coughs> so the constructor we have the string name which is file name and it can be the file itself too of course this has to do file not file exception this has to throw that we talk about exceptions <coughs> so if you come back to our eclipse so we want to write to a file let's do the text file name output.dat <coughs> it could be any I just say dot dat stand for like the data file. Of course, you need to import and do the try catch, correct? This has to be try catch. We talk about that. <coughs> so same same principle like when you do text file, right? Instead of using scanner, you use file output stream. Instead of .txt, you just say .dat. Like it can be other dots too. Okay. <coughs> now this is same. You just do the handle exception in case of cannot write a file. Okay. This is file output, so writer. <laughs> so next step. You want to check the method, right, of output, <coughs> the file output stream. So let's see. <coughs> the methods. Okay. I'm going to use cycle here. Create cycle a cycle. We want to read write the object here, right? New cycle <coughs> 5.0 output <coughs> dot So we want to write an object If I do write, this need a byte because write doesn't have the object right as parameter. <coughs> so let's say if I say new, make that as let me check object output stream right object output stream and a cycle. import it now let's check the object output stream object input stream, object output stream here <coughs> so we want to look at object output stream you provide output stream here as its constructor so that means <coughs> we actually going to provide object output stream right